Hey guys, what's going on? It's Salvage here, and today we're gonna to be talking about Injustice 2 and my full character wish list that I want to see. So it's my full character roster wish list that I honestly want to see. And if they're not in the game, I would be a little disappointed. But at the same time, uh, it's different characters that I did not expect. So either way, I'm gonna be happy about the outcome, and I really hope that these characters are in here. So first off, we're gonna be talking about the confirmed characters that are already in the game, already developed, already have supers, or they're already in the game. The first one, of course, is Batman, then Super. Superman, Wonder Woman, Atrocitus, Grodd, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Flash, Blue Beetle, Supergirl, and Aquaman. Those are the confirmed characters that we've seen rather E3 gameplay or we've seen get confirmed over the time. And also, Flash is in the game, guys. I don't know why they would put him in a teaser trailer and not reveal him whatsoever. That literally makes no sense. They would not just completely tease the Flash, have him even have certain gear sets, and then not put him in the game. That just makes no sense. NetherRealm is smarter than that. They won't just completely disregard what they did in the first announcement trailer. So I'm 100% sure that the Flash is in the game. So now we're gonna be going on to my wish list and why some of these characters should be in the game. The first one is Red Hood, and let me say, let me start by saying that uh, Ed Boon has said that they are putting in characters that the fans asked for for a long time. They put in Supergirl, uh, even though people ask for Power Girl, people are actually asking for Supergirl too. Uh, Red Hood was one of those characters that people begged. People were like, please put in Red Hood, and I can clearly see why. He's a very, very good addition. Uh, Deadshot kind of limits him and puts him in that lower percentage of maybe he could be in the game but at the same time maybe he can't because let's think about it we have two shooters now Red Hood's gonna be uh, part of that two shooter group and it's Deadshot and uh, Red Hood so what I'm saying here is if Red Hood gets confirmed that means Deathstroke is completely out of the picture but what, what let me get a, a little bit of focused here Red Hood is probably going to be in this game based on the poll that uh, Ed Boon did uh, which Red Hood do you want to see the Red Hood Joker haha <laughs> or the Red Hood Jason Todd and of course everybody chose Jason Todd it was like 80 to 12 or 80 to 10 or 20 uh, percent and everybody wanted Red Hood so it basically confirmed that you know maybe the next character that they reveal maybe a new york comic-con will be red hood i'm recording this on october 9th so uh if they already revealed it i'm sorry but this is still my wish list you know red hood's in the game that'd be incredible captain cold uh that's my next pick captain cold because well he was sort of teased in all the trailers he's in the beginning of every single one so you see batman's logo you see aquaman's logo and then you see Captain Cold's gun, and it literally says Captain Cold, Leonard Snart, uh, Le Leonard, and I can't, Leonard Snart, it's Mr. Snart, I'm just gonna call him Mr. Snart, well, we see Captain Cold's gun, right? So, I don't know why they would put that teaser in there and just completely disregard it, just like they put Flash in the announcement trailer and disregard him. Same thing with Red Hood, they could announce him at the New York Comic Con with Flash and show Flash's new abilities and whatnot. So, I'm pretty sure Captain Cold will be in the game. It is still my wish list, but at the same time, that confirmation is still borderline right there, so we don't don't know but we still maybe had a few hints that he's going to be the game also a lot of people said that he should be in the game and from one of the first leaks of the dlc he was uh, supposedly leaked to be in that uh, dlc and a lot of people were like heck yeah sure why not and it would be a really cool thing to see his movements and whatnot and see what he could probably do or bring to the injustice universe I'm not sure if he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's not dead in the Injustice Universe, but it would be so cool to see Captain Cold in this game doing what he does best, and that's being being a villain. Uh, bring him in, be a villain. I don't really care. He could be on Batman's side too, so he could be a hero, but we don't know. The next one is Dr. Fate. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know much about Dr. Fate, but I do know that he's magic-based. And if you bring in somebody who's magic-based, which are, I think, two more people on this, on this list are magic-based, I think. Uh, if you bring in magic-based, it would be incredible. It would be very, very smart. Uh, magic needs to be put in here because, one, Batman's going to try to recruit them in the story mode. Batman's going to try to recruit them to fight off Superman since Superman suits one of Superman's weaknesses is magic. And, of course, uh, two... It will bring in a new element of the game. I think the only magic character we really got last game was Zatanna. And that's all I could really think of. I, I don't know any other magic character that was in the game besides Zatanna. So bringing in Dr. Fate would be a very smart choice. Uh, if it's not Dr. Fate, then I would have to say John Constantine. I watched the TV show. I enjoyed it. I read uh, Hellblazer, I think it was. And I enjoyed that one. I read like the first issue and it was all right. But I don't know much about John Constantine either. But... You know, if they're going to add magic, have one of those two characters because uh, John Constantine is on my list. So, you know, have one of those two. That would be great. 
The next two, I'm going to put two in the same category since I put two in the last category, is Reverse Flash or Zoom. Reverse Flash or Zoom would be great. And not, not the TV show Reverse Flash and Zoom, the comic book Reverse Flash and Zoom. So, of course, Reverse Flash, Eobor Thon, or uh, Zoom, Hunter Zolman. Either way, I will be happy. I really, really just want to see Reverse Flash and have the complete opposite of Barry. You know, I don't want to just see uh, skin. I want to see an actual physical playable character of the reverse flash who probably has the complete opposite move sets of the flash that'd be really cool right you know uh, instead of kicking up three you uh punch three instead of uh you know punching three you kick three it would just be a really cool thing to have all the controls opposite of barry allen and you know instead of slowing down time maybe you could reverse time as zoom or uh reverse flash either way i just want to see the reverse flash in this game think about the clashes think how cool that would be the dialogue between the two uh maybe they could reference flashpoint if that happened in this universe maybe they could um reference flash rebirth if that happened in this universe just have reverse flash being here with uh or or zoom Either way, I will be happy. Uh, I just really want to see one of these two characters be in the game as an opposite to the Flash slash Barry Allen. And again, in New York Comic Con, if they're going to reverse, if they're going to release and, uh, you know, show the Flash, maybe you could have reverse Flash and be like, hey, he's in the game too. Wouldn't that be cool? Another speedster. And I don't think it will be a complete waste of a character slot because, of course, there's DLC and whatnot. So if they don't add him into the regular character slot, they could add him in a DLC, which would be also cool. My next one is Dr. Manhattan. Uh, I was going to say the entire roster or the entire character list of the Watchmen, which is going to be like, you know, Rorschach and, uh, and Night Owl and, you know, uh, fuck, what's her name? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm blanking out here. Ozymandias, you know, the entire cast of, uh, Watchmen. But then I was like, no, nah, if I'm going to have to choose one of them, it would rather have to be Rorschach or Dr. Manhattan. And which one would really work in this game? Which one will he uh, hold back? And I think it would be Dr. Manhattan. The reason why I'm saying Watchmen in the first place is because they're starting to introduce him into comics for Rebirth. If they start introducing him into comics, start giving him a push, you put him into a video game, that's the most ultimate push that you can do. It will be the best push possible. I think a lot of people would actually enjoy Dr. Manhattan being in the game. Uh, his power set, his move set would be really cool. He could transport you to Mars, just like <laughs> just like Martian Manhunter, and beat the shit out of you. Uh, drop a clock on you. I don't know. It would just be something fan uh you know, really fascinating and, and interesting to see if they put Dr. Manhattan in this game. He could teleport you to different locations, kind of like uh, Kinji or whatever his name was. Uh, Quinji, I don't know what it was. It's in Mortal Kombat X where he goes through portals and whatnot, but instead of portals, it could be just teleportation. That would be one of the coolest things ever. I would love to see Dr. Manhattan in this game. The next one is Robin. Robin for the simple fact that Nightwing is probably not going to be in this game unless it's Damian Wayne. And uh, Robin would just be the simplest choice for a cool character as a child character, too, because we had no ch children characters whatsoever. The Teen Titans were all grown up. Raven was grown up. Cyborg was grown up. All of them were grown up. So bring in a kid, you know? Uh, I know that there is no Robins at the time that I'm recording this in the comics. Uh, Damian Wayne is an adult. Maybe they could bring in Tim Drake, uh, switch up the continuity a little bit. I'm not sure. Do something, you know, do something interesting, do something fun. Uh, if they want to change the continuity a little bit, retcon a few things from the comics, that's cool too. But I would just want to see a Robin. I don't care if it's from a different universe, from a different time period. Bring them in, have them do something, uh, you know, new, and I would love it. Bring in a bow staff, bring in uh, just anything that you can. It just bring him uh, bring him in and do a new super. I just want to see something cool with Robin. And if they don't bring in Robin, then bring back Nightwing as Damien Wayne, that's fine too. Uh, and I would just really like to see Robin in this game right now, but and to say the development that they're in, I don't think that will be possible. Next one is Black Canary. From from the last time that I remember actually touching up on the comics, Black Canary technically died, but then was brought back to life in that one tower, the magical tower or whatever, with Santana and all of them. So I don't know if she's still alive. I really hope she is, but if she is alive in the Injustice universe, Bring her into the roster, please. Oh my goodness. Think about the ultimate. It could be like, what's her name? Chantel or whatever. Chantel or whatever her name is in uh, in Mortal Kombat uh, 9. My god, that would be amazing. Think of the ultimate or the super that she could do. She could like pin you down, like scream into your ear until your ears, your eardrums pop. Uh, you know, just bring her in. Oh my god, that would be the coolest thing. Also, I heard that she's being brought back for the Arrow Season 5. So again, another big push 
You put her into the movie. I'm sorry. You put her into a game. She has a big push in the in the game. She has a big push in a TV show. Boom, right there, perfect. The next one is Joker. The next three are actually going to be villains. The next one is Joker. Uh, Joker is dead in this universe. Yes, he is. He's gone. He's dead. 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 You know, just like what Rocksteady said, he's gone. But if they could bring a way, if they could do a way to bring him back, maybe in a flashback, maybe uh. Uh, do something interesting with Batman or Superman, that'd be really cool, you know, have him be fightable in a flashback, but then keep him in the main roster, like, I just think an interesting way like that would really work, and bring him in, do something cool with him, uh, give him a new super, I don't want to see the same old super, you know, where he shoots him in the face and then blows him out with a bazooka, even though that was a really interesting and uh, entertaining super to watch, I don't want to see that again, you know, I want to see a new one, I want to see uh, a different Joker, and if they bring it back into the flashback, maybe if they had Jason Todd as Red Hood back and then they do a flashback, uh, they could easily bring in, uh, of course, Joker and have him fight off against Robin, Jason Todd. And then, boom, you got you got Robin, you got Red Hood, and then you got Joker all in one little scene, and it's perfect. Next one, of course, is Brainiac. And I just think Brainiac would be a good villain for the game. I don't think, uh, playing-wise, I guess he would be decent. I think you could do some really good things with him, some different things with him than the other characters, since he is uh, somewhat, I guess, nano-based. He he really likes to use robots. He really likes to use uh, different things. Maybe he could put you into one of your one of his worlds and then shake up the bottle or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a developer. I'm just an idea. I'm just an idea guy. Okay, I give it ideas and then I just present them. But you know, bringing in Brainiac would be something cool. Uh, I I don't know how they would be able to do him though. As as a villain, he will be great. Uh, Earth is vulnerable, Batman's gonna need help, he's gonna break out Superman, he's gonna be like, hey, I need you to help us, if you don't help us, we'll kill you, uh, basically like that, and then Superman is, you know, gonna help, everybody's really reluctant about it, and they're like, oh no, don't help him, and, you know, Brandy Inks here, and everybody's like, okay, yeah, help, uh, help us Superman, and then Superman can probably redeem himself, think about it, that'd be cool. Uh, but Brainiac, I really want to see him. And same thing with my next choice, which is, uh, I'm sorry, Darkseid. If Darkseid comes onto Earth, they could be the same exact plot. We know that it's going to be an Earth-threatening attack. We have gotten no teasers, no no confirmation about what the villain is. Uh, last year, it was very open. It was very, uh, of course, told. it was basically them telling us, Here's the villain, here's the heroes, boom, go at it. But now we don't even know who the villain or heroes are. Superman could be a hero, but just plotting against Batman to, uh, you know, take over the world. But Brainiac or Darkseid could still be the villain. So Darkseid or Brainiac, I will be down for both. I think both of them are great choices, and I would really like to see them. Next pick is Vixen. I'm not a big Vixen fan, really not. The only the only time I've ever seen her is in the animated show for Justice League, the animated series on the CW, and then a little bit on Arrow. Uh, and then I think she's going to be in Legends of Tomorrow Season 5, but at the same time, I mean, you could give her a push, of course, since she's going to be on the TV show of Legends of Tomorrow, but at the same time, uh, I don't know how you could bring her in. It would be a really cool power, power set as well. I would really like to see a power set of Vixen. You know, she could turn into any animal. She could turn into anything that she wants. She could have the powers of animals, a rhino, an elephant, a bird. You know, she could fly, whatever. You know, I just really think Vixen would be uh, something new, something uh, kind of diversive in the game since it just, it just seems like if they add Vixen, a lot of people would be like thrilled and a little bit excited because it's something new. It's something we haven't seen before. Uh, it's just magic. It's also magic. Her totem or whatever, her necklace is magic as well. You could you know tie that into Doctor Fate and whatnot and have have her be in there. The next one is Batgirl, and it's because Slick Moth thinks that he's so good with Batgirl, even though he's complete trash. So make Slick Moth feel happy. Bring in Batgirl. Uh, you know if if it makes Slick Moth happy. Then, then, you know, if it makes Slick Moth feel like he's actually good at the game, then yeah, 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 bring him in, bring him in. Bring her in, what the fuck? Next one is Swamp Thing. Yes, oh my gosh, Swamp Thing would be so cool. I got one of his comics recently, and it was a very old comic from, like, the 80s, and I loved it. I really, really did. I have to go find it. I think it's in one of my bags. But um, I really do like the character of Swamp Thing. I know apparently he died to save Poison Ivy, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But let's be honest, who really stays dead in the DC universe? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. Oh, yeah, nobody nobody stays dead Seriously bring her him it bring bring Spring and swamp thing. I just want to see how he could actually be Handled in this universe as a character that's fightable. You know, I just want to see a fightable swamp thing in this game 
he would be so cool. He could be one of the tanks just like Grodd or Atrocitus. And I don't think we have enough yet. I think we need at least three more tanks. And it could be rather Bane. Uh, this is not on my wish list, but it could be Bane. It, it could be, of course, Swamp Thing. Or it could even be a, a bigger character. Maybe uh, one of the Green Lanterns. What's that hog Green Lantern? I don't know. It was one of the trainers of Green Lantern. And he was a hog or a pig or whatever. And, you know, uh, I think that would be a really good uh, choice, too. Is just keep bringing in bigger characters because I think a lot of people want to see that. Next one is Martian Manhunter. As I said before, Dr. Manhattan, the Mars thing, it just really, I think it would be a really cool thing to see. And even if, uh, you know, maybe uh, John Johns uh, goes to Mars one day and, like, he's like, oh, I saw this weird blue blue light and I didn't investigate it because I just didn't want to. And uh, I think it's this guy, Dr. Manhattan or whatever. I, I just think that would be really funny, a uh, really cool thing to do, especially if you're going to tie in the, the Watchmen universe to the, uh, to the uh, Injustice universe. It would just be really interesting to see it. I honestly would like to see Martian Manhunter. It was, he was one of my favorite characters to play as. Uh, give him a different move set and a different super, but at the same time, keep the core elements of the character still there. Uh, the stretchable arms, the, the teleportation, the beams flying down from the sky. Uh, all his telepath uh, telepathic moves. I would just really like to see all those like stay. And the last and final one is Green Lantern. I want to see Green Lantern in this game. I don't care if it's John Stewart. I don't care if it's Hal Jordan. I don't care if it's Kyle Rayner. Actually, Kyle Rayner. Fun fact about you people that barely know me. Uh, Kyle Rayner was the first ever Green Lantern book I've ever read. It was the, it was the origins of Kyle Rayner after Green Lantern murdered most of the. Uh, uh, fuck, what's it called? The, the people in Oa, you know, he killed, he mass murdered a lot of people, uh, in Oa, uh, the planet Oa, and he killed, like, a lot of them, he killed, like, most of the Green Lanterns, and then, uh, he flew, the, one of the blue guys, I don't know what they're called, they flew down and gave Kyle Rayner the ring, and that's where I first read Green Lantern, it wasn't Kyle, it wasn't, uh, John Stewart, it wasn't Hal Jordan, it was Kyle Rayner, and if you put in Kyle Rayner, I'll be down. I don't think he's in this universe, but hey, you know, anything's possible. Uh, John Stewart, I don't even know if he's in this universe. I think I'm pretty sure he died. I'm not even sure. Uh, Hal Jordan, of course, he got arrested and whatnot. But I would just like to see a Green Lantern in this game. I don't care who. I just really want to see it. So tell me what's got some comments below. What's your guys' wish list? I went up to 28 because, of course, there's going to be 28 main characters in the game. The next video that I do for a wish list will be DLC character wish list. So tell me what you guys are saying in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.